Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over something we saw in the Facebook group which was too good to pass up, and that's quick chords when you're using MIDI. If you're in the writing process and using MIDI to get some ideas out, maybe you came up with a really cool melody line or just the chord line that you want to do, but when you were doing it, you only did single notes, and instead of going in and retracking everything or double clicking all the notes in, Maybe you want to use some macros to make this way easier. Let's go ahead and dive into the DAW. So here we are inside of our session, and I just have an instance of presence open. And as you can see, I have this multicolor MIDI event going on. And I did the color coding for a reason. One is for me, and two, it's to show you guys some different notes. So this is just a piano, and it's really nothing special. Here it is on its own. And that's it, but maybe we can make this something a little bit more, start to flourish it up a little bit and turn it into something. Let's go ahead and use some macros to fill out the notes that we need. So I have my MIDI editor open on bottom. And if you don't already have it engaged, this is the macro button for the edit window down here. It's the same kind of one that you'll see up on the top of your screen as well. But this is just for the edit window. When we're in our macros, I'm in the music editing page. So if you don't see this, just click the arrow, find the drop down, and go to music editing. Now, here's the quick chords for whatever I have selected. So right now, I'm going to grab these two, and I have them in this pinky purple kind of color to show me that these are supposed to be major chords. What I can do is come over here to where it says double, click on the drop down, and right here, create chords. There's lots of options underneath this submenu. Major triads, minor triads, sus fours, sus ambichords, augmented triads, major seventh chords. Lots of different options to help you get the creative juices flowing. So let's keep things simple and turn these two into major triads. And just like that, we have our major triads. Let's just play these two. There you go, quick and easy chords. We can do the same thing with this one here. And I know that this is supposed to be minor. That's why I have it in a different color. So let's stick with our triads. And we'll start from the beginning again. Cool, we're getting somewhere. This is starting to fill out a bit. Now let's throw some seventh chords in there. This is supposed to be major again, so we'll come down and we'll go to major seventh chord. That's not bad, but it's not really working because all it's doing is just creating one note. Because this is a macro, it's doing a few things at the same time. So if I go in and start to hit undo, you can see what the actual stages of the macro are. They duplicate a note and then move it a certain number of semitones to create the known chord structure. Let's try this again. We'll go back to our create chords and let's try a dominant seventh. Maybe we'll get a little more variance in here. Mm, this might be a nice lead in to the next note. Let's go to here and try an augmented triad. And we'll just round it out at the end and go back to our major triad. And let's take a listen to what we've created. Not bad, but if we wanted to make this really simple, we could go in, grab the notes that it created, get rid of them, and just try again. You know what, let's keep things real simple and we'll stick with our major and minor triads. Now let's take a listen and see if this is a happy song or something kind of weird and crazy. It's 
so there you go. We went from just a very simple melody line and filled it out using quick chords underneath the macro toolbar and the double option. And you don't have to just use create chords down here. You could do a fourth above. I had this note selected and then hit fourth above and it added this note in. Not bad, that works for us. Now I have this one selected and let's go ahead and do an octave above. You can't see it, but it's hiding there. It will add the notes that you tell it to add. I have this note selected still, and maybe I wanna make a sus chord out of it on top of everything else we've already made. So let's listen to that again. We'll take these and mute them real quick. And I did that with shift and M. And now let's listen to that sus chord that we created way up high. Again, not bad. Maybe this could lead us back into our one. And so we'll just drag this over, duplicate it. So there you go, now we're getting inspired. We're changing chords, we're coming up with ideas, we're filling out the sound. Instead of it just being a one note melody, I can fluff it up and try and find something there to continue building from. This came straight from the PreSonus Studio One Facebook group that I'm pretty active in, but I didn't learn about this until Lucas actually showed it to a thread asking about how to quickly and easily build chords in Studio One. So thank you, Lucas. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflanswellm.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.